Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. Well, I'm back with a bit of a treat because I haven't done any project life process videos for you guys for such a long time. But recently I decided to really dive into my 2020 album and given what's happening in the world, I thought this is a really important year to document well. So I thought I'd pop in and share one of my pocket style pages with you uh, in this pocket style spread I am using mostly Felicity Jane products predominantly the Lola collection which is a I have in a digital format which is so wonderful because I can import it into my silhouette studio software I can change the sizes of all the different elements and then print them out do use the print and cut feature and out they pop if you don't have a silhouette that's completely it will still work. You can just import it into a um, photo editing, like a editing software of any kind, change the shape and print it out on your printer and do some fussy cutting, which you all know that I'm a big fan of. So as you can see, I'm really cruising along here. I have these gorgeous photos of myself and a dear friend that I caught up and met her beautiful little dolly. Um, and, and I've got my... I had an idea in my head about the products I want to use and I just simply used filler cards to fill in the holes and then just started embellishing the each individual um, little pockets there. Now I didn't want to go too embellishment heavy, that was what I was thinking originally, but then I found these beautiful pink fresh studio puffy elements and started to go crazy. So as you will soon see, I won't stop and everything will come together and look quite busy, but I have to admit when I'm flicking it through my album, it just comes together and it's so pretty and um, it really highlights this special memory. Um, yeah, so I'm just, as you can see, I'm really just focusing on those three main pockets with larger embellishments and then just the one the pockets that have the photos in I'm just adding a few little embellishments here and there finishing off with some fussy cut stars and I will add some journaling in that top middle pocket because we all like to know at least the who what where when and why and maybe add in a little bit of thoughts and feelings and um, and then the layout is complete now, I don't know about you, I don't know how you're all feeling about documenting this year. Uh, it's certainly a year that's unlike any other we've had in a long time. So let me know in the comments, are you documenting your year? Are you documenting COVID-19 in your project life? How are you documenting it? The Our lives have changed, we're restricted and we have to stay at home a lot more. Thankfully, this was on the Australia Day weekend, which is end of January for those who aren't Australian watching. And um, this was before our country sort of went into lockdown. So I have this beautiful time. And I'm so thankful that we got away that weekend. Um, but yeah, I'd really like to know how you're going to document your time at home and and what's happening in the world in your project life uh, spread so let me know give me some tips and help me as I venture into the coming months of my 2020 album and uh, you might be able to help me out with some some tips and tricks so here I am I've used some pink fresh studio some Felicity Jane and those were just uh, some chipboard stickers from the a um, what's her name a Vicky Booten collection it's an older collection but I love those elements and when I'm working on projects at the moment I keep drawing them out trying to trying to use them on a project so here I am just finishing off with that little bit of journaling I love how this layout's come together and I certainly um, hope that it has inspired you to document a everyday moment in um, in this pocket style form. I'm my 2020 album is going to be in a 9 by 12 inch album and um, I, I, I tend to have fallen back on that. I documented 9 by 12 inch in 2018 and loved it. Then 2019 it, I thought I'd switch back to 12 by 12 inch and it just didn't work for me. So in 2020 I'm back to tw 9 by 12 inch and I'm really going to try hard to 
uh, stay ahead and stay on on top of my project life even if it's just printing out the photos and popping them in a sleeve in the right order maybe just adding the date and some journaling on a sticky note there so when I get to it I'm not thinking about I've got to go and print photos it's just there in my album ready to go and I can pull out a page just adding a few little last little treats which are some Pink Fresh Studio puffy alphas and some gorgeous Felicity Jane little puffy love heart there and there you have it I hope my layouts inspired you to do pull out some project life um yeah thank you for stopping by take care guys bye <music>